am going to be vlogging today. Yay! I have not vlogged since the holiday times, which is crazy because I really wanted to vlog a lot more and I'm sorry that I have not. But also I think I wore like a denim jacket and this like whole color scheme in that video too because I just looked at the thumbnail. And of course, your girl's wearing something similar, different outfit. This is a new jacket girl. But yeah, of course, I'm like wearing something similar. But whatever. I figured I'd still just take you guys with me, fill you guys in on some things, give you some updates. Love doing these videos, so I hope you guys do like them as well. Let me know down below or thumbs up this video if you guys do like vlogs because I can still do car to chat vlogs and I definitely want to like incorporate them more. So I'm hoping you guys still like them, but I have to run out right now. It's about one o'clock ish and it is so hot in my car, you guys. Like oh, it literally feels like 80, so I'm sorry I have to put the air on, but it says it's 61. Whenever I get to wherever I am, I will put the camera down and we will chit chat. Thanks. And I feel like I'm gonna get questions on my lashes. Lashes that I'm wearing today are Salon Perfect 614s. They are my holy grail, favorite, favorite lashes. You can glam them up looking so nice, but you can also wear them like natural right now, like nothing on my lids and just the lashes and still look like, you know, you got something going on when it's really just lashes, you know? So yeah, Salon Perfect 614s, my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. It's an ice cream tea lemonade from Starbucks. I don't get it too often, but I get it unsweetened because I don't need the additional sugar. And on a day like today where it feels gorgeous, have to get me some ice cream tea lemonade. Yes, girl. Um, let me show so actually, speaking of what I've been doing the other day, which was so, so much fun, I got to go to New York City to actually visit the L'Oreal headquarters, which was completely amazing. I seriously never thought I'd be able to do that. And I actually went with La Roche Posay, which is a skincare line. So they actually invited me over to go there. It was an event, a whole like derm class, which was so, so much fun. I went with my girl Kelly. You guys know her, Kelly Strack. Uh, we're really good friends. We actually went together. So first of all, thank you to La Roche Posay for inviting me and having me there. It was such a cool experience. And thank you guys, of course, to you guys for getting me to do these types of things. I actually have clips from the event, so I'm gonna pop it in as I'm talking. So I did vlog the event, but I did it more montage style where I didn't talk about anything. I kind of just let the footage roll and like just kind of took the clips that way. So I hope you guys are cool with that. But such a cool day. We spent all day in New York City. So from like 10 a.m., like even a little earlier, to like around six o'clock was all filled with things to do with L'Oreal and La Roche Posay. So I guess I will talk a little bit about it just cause it was so much fun. Uh, I actually have this stuff sitting next to me from the event. We got gifted like a really big bag of goodies of all the skincare. So I'll show you guys what's in here maybe when I go home or something. So we have like a whole acne like training and like derm class. Dr. Tamara Lazic, she's a dermatologist. She's so sweet. So the whole event and like derm class was all based on acne. That's what we pretty much learned about. And um, you know, all these products are meant kind of for sensitive skin. Um, obviously if you don't have sensitive skin, you could still use them, but it's geared more towards sensitive skin and will really help you if you have sensitive skin. We kind of just spent a while talking about acne and all that good stuff and like, you know, what she recommends patients and all of that. So that was really cool. And then we actually, which was my favorite part of all of this, was we made our own cream. Like we got these lab coats. I actually have it here. I have it all sitting here with me. Um, we got these lab coats and I felt so official. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post stories um, from the actual like event. I've never gotten to do that before. Never went with a brand or like a company to do something like this. So it was so much fun. I literally felt like I was in the lab, like creating something. It's Behind all of this, that actually do all of this stuff in the lab, came, explained everything, how they do it, and like all the ingredients that go into it. These products are for acne, um, and you know, they're fragrance free, sulfate free, all that good stuff. So they're really good for your skin, and it's something that I definitely think I need. I mean, everyone, A, should be taking care of their skin. That's just like a no brainer, but for me, I've been breaking out so much lately and I don't know what's causing it and I feel like if I'm using a makeup product like I stopped using a few of them that I thought it could have been so I don't know why my skin is going crazy I have a few breakouts right now and like on my forehead as well so like I know these products are gonna be something I'm really looking forward to using I have normal to oily skin I'm like in that combo zone so I got a lot of products that are for normal to oily skin like this one this is the cleanser which I'm so excited to use 
yeah, that's exciting. I got some like skincare products for the sun. It has SPF in it. Like I have sunscreen in here too. So I'm just so excited as you can tell. Sorry if I'm like going on and on, but it was a really fun day. We also got to tour like the L'Oreal store where it's their company store. So everybody that works in that one building in New York can go into this company store and they have all of the brands that L'Oreal owns, which I found so incredible. I did not buy anything, but it, there's a lot of stuff in there. Urban, it cosmetics, Maybelline, L'Oreal, obviously, a bunch of stuff, even hair stuff that's owned by L'Oreal. So it was a really cool experience and amazing building. Like so crazy to be in like the behind the scenes of what goes on. That's what happened with that. Um, and then we also got to go to a whole like influencer party later on at night. I'll let you guys know how I like it and everything just so I can kind of keep you guys in the loop. Yeah, that's what I did recently. That was the other day. And what else happened? And then, oh, I think my wisdom teeth are coming in. So that's really cute. Not. Um, I'm like in so much pain over here. So if I'm a little swollen in this area, that's probably why because they're coming down. But fun fact, they actually came down a while ago and then they went back up, which I didn't think that was like a thing or like possible, but they came down and then, nope, sorry, we're not gonna come to visit today. We're gonna go back up in your mouth. So yeah, they like reversed their growing pattern. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, and now they're like back down to play. So it's not fun. It hurts a lot. And I think I have like sores back here because they're coming down, if that makes sense. Like my tooth is like cutting into my um, gum. Annoying. So I have to go visit the dentist very soon. I also don't remember if I showed you guys, but my YouTube plaque came. If I showed you, then disregard the section, but um, yeah, surpassing 100,000 subscribers, my plaque came, I'm so excited, and I cannot wait to hang it up. I have to obviously still finish up this beauty room, girl. We're slacking in this department, but um, yeah, look at that, it's insane. I am so blessed. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> So here are all the products. I'm so excited to try them out. These are all of them like laid down so you guys can get like a better view. I'm really excited for these. They actually have hyaluronic acid in them though. So you're really just supposed to use it for your face and not really your eyes because um, it could burn obviously. So I'm really excited for these. And your girl's probably using it tonight because I'm that excited. <laughs> Also just wanna say thank you to La Roche Posay for teaming up with me on this video. So you guys know like food obviously causes breakouts too. Did you guys know what kind of milk causes breakouts? I'll let you guys think for a second. I learned this and I didn't know for sure because I actually thought it was opposite. I thought it actually turns out that whole milk is fine for you, like that's the safe zone. Skim milk and I believe it is non-fat milk cause the breakouts. I don't drink whole milk out of that dairy. I like to have almond milk. I don't even like add even any of that stuff in my coffee, like no cream, none of that. I honestly just use almond milk. So I wouldn't be able to tell if it's any of that as, unless it's like in my food, like in whatever I'm eating, like in the actual recipe. But I don't know. That's what I figured, that's what I learned. And I was like, whoa, cause I was kind of confused. I thought it would be the opposite. I thought whole milk would break you out. I don't know. But yeah, that's something I learned. So now you guys know it too, if you didn't already know. If you know, then I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like this vlog is going to be mainly one of those vlogs where it's like, I take a trip in the past and like I put all of the clips over top of what I'm saying, like kind of like a story time. I feel like that's what this vlog kind of just turned into, but I'm cool with it. As long as you guys are cool with that, I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to share with you guys what went on with that event. So I'm not sure where else I'm gonna be doing today, um, but if this vlog kind of turned into that, then there you go. I might as well just say bye here just in case I don't come back, but I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, so it's always a possible chance that I will pop back in again. All right, so excuse the hair, I just tossed it up, but I'm actually gonna use right now because I'm like so eager to use it, um, the clarifying oil-free cleansing towelettes. I did just take off all my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this wipe to kind of get off everything else because I'm sure, you know, you leave it a lot behind, so. Yeah, like, I thought I got everything off, but clearly I did not. <laughs> and that happens just about all the time with my makeup. Like, you think you get all of it off and you never really get it all off. It's also like exfoliating my skin as well which is nice. 
and it feels really nice. I'm gonna get the neck too. Never wanna forget the neck. I don't know if you can see, but we got the remaining off. So now I'm gonna go in with um, the foaming cleanser. Whoa, that should be enough. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.